Hello everyone, welcome to Python Lab. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to detect backlinks using beautiful soup in Python. Uh, so you are going to import some important libraries from uh, uh, beautiful soup uh, version four. You can imp import beautiful soup as PSP and import uh, requests. This is useful to send an HTTP request to website. And regular expression is important to find patterns and pandas also to transform our data into structured format, tabular format. So uh, what are backlinks? Backlinks also known as inbound links or incoming links. So are uh, links from one website to a page on another website. So if uh, there are a, back, a lot of backlinks in uh, google.com. Uh, google.com is a website, so there, uh, there may be a lot of uh, backlinks and other links in the web page. So that uh, web pages are uh, links are called inbound links or incoming links. So according to Google and other major uh, search engine considers backlinks voters for a specific page and the pages with high number of backlinks tend to have high organic search engine rankings. So this is an advantage. So how can we detect that backlink from the website? So to do this, uh, we are going to define a function that is detect backlink uh, by passing a, par a list of parameters uh, URL. Uh, we are going to scrap and the name of that uh, URL, for example, the name is the domain name. Probably you can give the domain name. For example, google.com, uh, if this is a, a URL, the name is go to exclude in the regular expression, especially. So first let's uh, send an HTTP uh, request and let's get a response. Requests dot, requests dot get and passing the URL as an argument and we, get a response, a response uh, uh, going to be uh, okay, which means 200. And if it is a bad uh, link or the link is, or URL is not found or there is something uh, wrong. So it's a response uh, 404 that is uh, not found. Okay, let's get the HTML, HTML content using uh, beautiful soup, HTML content and soup, I mean, uh, beautiful soup. Then we pass the response we get from an HTTP requests dot content. And we are going to pass HTML dot parser attributes parser that going to parse HTML documents from the website. Once we parse, we get the HTML document, we are going to extract or find required information from this HTML content because the beautiful soup extracted or parsed the whole HTML document from uh, the website. So that uh, whole HTML content will not go, uh, be useful for our uh, 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 it, it will not be useful. So uh, what we are going to do is uh, just uh, extract useful information from this HTML uh, content or document. Okay, let's uh, find uh, linkers, HTTP linkers uh, and HTML, HTML, Content dot find all which contains anchor tag, and we regular expression we use a regular expression for uh, hr uh, recompile re dot compile that matches patterns, uh, which is uh, and cp. Then once we find this, all the uh, links, including uh, anchor tag uh, stores in the link HTTP link, and we find the backlinks from this backlinks. Uh, we can use here the link for every 
link in HTTP linkers. If link uh, hyper actually dot find the name is important here just to exclude this name is equals to one uh, minus one then we finally return these backlinks the list of backlinks and we run this let's run this uh, if there is no error here it will uh, then the regular expression is a sequence of characters that specifies a search pattern in a text or a string. Usually such patterns are used by string searching algorithms for find or find and replace operations on a string or for input validations probably. Then we call the function detect backlink here, call the function and get list of detected backlinks from the website or the URL we are going to pass to this uh, function detect backlink. The backlink is equals, we assign to the variable uh, the uh, backlinks and we pass the URL. Uh, the URL we are going to use for now is uh, URL. Let's uh, assign the URL, for example, is tps uh, com. This is the URL we are going to parse, and we are uh, we are going to detect all the backlinks from this website, from this website, and we pass the name. The name is eBay. This is the domain name. We parse as a name. Now let's run this and uh, request this is notified. Okay, first let's run this uh, libraries because uh, without uh, running this it will not work. Uh, properly that's why it's uh, not defined okay all right let's run this again and <clears throat> all right now let's uh, uh, check the links or the backlinks we are detected from the evi.com website yes it's it's uh, find three uh, different links detected for, uh, from this website and but not extracted it is uh, an html or a document uh, list of the uh, linkers so what we are going to do is let's parse these backlinks from this uh, list of uh, html uh, documents from this uh, let's uh, parse let's uh, Define a function parse backlinks and uh, uh, for every link in uh, first, let's define a dictionary and MBT uh, dictionary backlinks, which is the title of the link and the link as well. List of links and list of titles we are going to find. Okay, for every backlink, uh, for every link in backlinks, links from uh, this function, we are Finding because this is uh, the function we get from the above is assigned to this uh, and passed to this function as an argument. Then we uh, find the title from this link, link dot find, I mean the link or URL link dot find a and the title yeah probably the link uh, the text here not uh, find just uh, link uh, past actually it's uh, find this or the link is included this and finally we append it to 
backlink. Let's check back linkers. Backlinkers title dot append title dot strip. Just remove uh, white space from both sides. Back linkers. Then we also the link or link append the URL dot strip. Now let's return the dictionary as a result. Let's run this and let's call data and parse Okay, let's run the data here. Yeah, we got uh, the titles, list of titles and the URLs or links for uh, that titles. Now uh, we can convert to or transform to the pandas data frame if uh, we want. And uh, let's see, pd dot data frame and we pass the data a dictionary and let's see the result. This is the title is tutor. The backlink is uh, htps.tutor.com eBay. This is the backlink from the website. Korea, uh, this is a global gmarket.co. So we find, we have detected three backlinks from eBay.com. Uh, what, what we get if we change this, for example, uh, google.com and we pass Google. Let's run this and let's check. There is no backlinkers here, uh, not detected any backlinkers. Uh, let's check again, probably. Okay. Uh, let's check Alibaba. Uh, okay, let's pass Alibaba. There are a lot of uh, backlinks uh, from Alibaba and let's pass these backlinks. Yeah, there are almost 20, uh, 21 backlinks. The title we have detected from alibaba.com. Here, all the links are detected, uh, including HTTP, including HTTPS or HTTP. All right, one six eight eight one six eight eight dot com. So this is the way how we can detect backlinks or inbound links from any website we wanted to detect. So uh, because a backlink is or inbound link is uh, an advantage or there is uh, a chance of uh, tra uh, trending the website, the website, your website. So this is the way how we can detect backlinks using beautiful soup in Python. Thanks for watching.